what happened? And I think that that this is something that the security team is very well aware yeah. of. And that if, that if they open fire, then they will return fire. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the problem is that we have, for the last few years, I've felt, been at the precipice of a event, and that event would be, uh, in my mind, is something like the Boston Massacre. What what I mean by that uh, is that we are on the precipice of some sort of attack or assault or shooting or bombing or something that is going to be the, the trigger that is going to precipitate a much larger armed movement. Um, and I'm not d- trying to directly compare that movement to you know, the, the American Revolution in 1776, as many people would like to. Uh, I'm just saying that you know, an, an event like that, it, it could be a, an event of domestic terrorism that triggers a larger armed movement, an insurgency even, if you will. And I, I think that these, these people, in these people, I'm talking about a certain subset of Trump supporters, of pro-Trump supporters. I'm not talking about all Trump voters or you know, all conservatives or Republicans, but there is a certain type of Trump supporter who has been walked right up to that precipice, right up to that cliff, the edge of the cliff, by being told that there is a deep state uh, that there are these pedophile sa- Satanists who are running our government, that they have been told that the election, that our lawful democratic elections have been compromised, that they're, that they're rigged, that the presidency was stolen from their candidate. And if you really believe those things, if you internalize them and you believe them deep down, then of course you would pick up a gun and wage war against those entities. Um, and I, I don't believe any of that stuff is true. I don't believe any of these QAnon conspiracy theories. But if I truly believed deep down that our government was run by satanic pedophiles and they were rigging the election, I would be an insurgent as well. I mean, Rod, you and I were soldiers. I mean, we've been overseas. I mean, you you know the deal. Like, you can understand why the locals don't, you know, they, they don't uh, um, respect an imposition upon them. And, you know, they, somebody they know gets roughed up, we blow down the wrong door and, and, you know, kill their nephew and they get pissed off about it. So if you truly believe that these things are happening here in the United States, why would you not pick up a gun and assault the Capitol building? And I, I hope that's not, I hope they have not picked up guns. Um, they've broken inside. That's, we, we know that much so far. And I, I hope that it does not turn to, to violence especially with firearms or, or some other type of weapon. Um, this could go downhill really, really fast.